Um, today we're going to look at a uh, guillotine from the quarter guard. Okay, um, the quarter guard usually happens either I'm kind of passing half guard and he, my knee pops through but he's still controlling my shin with his legs. Okay, so it's like a very sort of uh, loose, half, um, shallow half guard. Another time what happens is I'm sort of mounted him, he hips out to escape, boom, he traps me again, okay? Anyway, when he's in this position, he normally has to turn away from me to maintain the grip he has on my leg. Okay, so this gives me a chance to attack his neck. So what I'm going to do, as soon as I kind of see his neck open, dive in, look for his chin. Once I get hold of his chin, I can feel my arms under his neck. I'm going to put my head on the mat, I'm going to get my hips really high, okay? Coming over him, lock my arms together, okay? And from here, use my other leg to escape. I'm going to come to a really high mount. So my, my hips are right around his shoulders, okay? This gives me a lot of leverage to um, finish the guillotine. Okay. So the grip I'm using, so if Kieran goes on his knees, over here, I'm coming under his chin, I'm going a little bit deeper, and I'm going elbow high, okay? Kind of Marcelo Garcia style. This is probably the best way to, not probably the easiest way to finish a guillotine. Okay, so again, we're in quarter guard. Again, I find his neck, I loop over, I grip my hands. Sometimes I'm freeing this leg, he might try and come on top of me, okay? Okay, again. What I like to do is put my hook in, again I can finish from here, easy enough, or put him back to mount. And try and make sure when you mount, you always come with your hips above his shoulders, okay? A lot of times we'll try and finish the guillotine from kind of here, sort of kind of um, here, and it's a little bit awkward. So you need to be kind of nice and high, so I've got a lot of leverage going into his neck, okay? 